please. Allow me to show you something. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So excited to get right into it today. We're doing part two of this jacket custom. Can't wait to show you guys how we got it done. After the paint had dried on the jacket, I noticed that it didn't dry white, like not crispy white. So I went ahead and took my paintbrush, highlighting what I already painted before naturally with a toothbrush, with a second coat, and sometimes even a third and a fourth coat to really get that white to pop. Also making sure that I had a piece of cardboard between the back portion of the jacket and the front portion. So in case any paint did get through, it wouldn't ruin the front part. For those of you who were here for the last video, I mentioned that I wanted to get a new blade and had a proper tool for this new custom. And the blade came in, it was wonderful. I taped down everything and it started to cut and it wasn't as clean as I would like it to be. And the mat um, wasn't holding down the leather um, as strongly as it should. And it's not really the mat's fault. I'm gonna give it a pass on this one because the back of this, um, this leather, it's not real leather, it's vegan leather. And it comes with a type of like a, like a felt or a cotton kind of material that's glued onto the back of it to give it a little bit more of a thickness of a weight. It's beautiful, but um, because of that, it has a hard time sticking to the mat that comes with my Cricut machine. And the mat just like a, it's a cutting mat that has grip on it. So it, it stick, it's like an adhesive, like a glue almost. And my wife, Greta, had a great idea about how to help the leather stick to it better. She reminded me of a YouTuber that has a cosplay channel. And she has been doing some stuff with the Cricut Maker cutting EVA foam, which is super cool, super dope. And what she did was she took a piece of um, that, oh gosh, sticky vinyl. The vinyl that I have, the, the vinyl that we can't use for stencils because it just doesn't work for stencils. So she took that and put the glossy side down so that adhesive would be up top that would just stick to the mat. So now it's almost like we have like tape holding the mat down and then taping down the edges. And because of that, we have these super crisp, clean lines, like factory finish cutouts of this leather. And I'm pretty sure it would work with um, more thicker, denser leather too. So really, really excited to do more customs using that kind of like method. I don't even know. I don't even know. There's so many things we could do with it. After looking at some of the reviews for the patches I bought, everyone for the most part had said that they had a hard time ironing on the patch because the glue that it came with didn't stick well to the material. Some people use denim, most people use denim, but just in case, I went ahead and used a different kind of glue to stick the patches on. I decided to use the same contact cement that I used to build my helmet that's on my left here. Uh, the way that works is you lay down a thin coat on both sides of either the patch and where you're going to stick it onto and you want to let that dry to touch. So 15 minutes drying, I didn't have that much time so you might see me going over with a heat gun. But once it was dried and you put it together, it bonds like crazy strong bond. Like it will never come apart, almost as if it was always meant to be. And so I wanted to go ahead with that kind of bond um, with these patches because they're a little bit heavier. Also, I really like using the word bond. 007. So this glue is so strong, in fact, that it's not recommended to use indoors. I went ahead and tried to do it indoors anyway, thinking that if I leave all the windows open, it would be totally fine. Not realizing this is the most toxic glue known to mankind in my possession in a tiny little bottle. Death in a bottle. Even with our mask on, it it was way too strong. In fact, Greta had to leave the room with her mask on because it was it was messed with her too much. That's the number one reason why we don't have much footage of me putting the patches on because Greta was dying. I took the mask off for a quick second to kind of just like just see for myself. And yeah, um, it's a it's actually kind of like a wood glue, but it it smells so bad that it, it literally feels like you're like starting to get punched in your gut from the inside out. So it's definitely some toxic stuff. Um, to finish up those last few patches, I had to go outside to put it on there because I, di I didn't want to like toxify my house any more than I had. <laughs> For the letters, I use a different kind of glue. It's a leather-based glue. And I'm really happy I had that on hand uh, because 
As soon as I put on the last little bee patch on the back of the jacket, it started to snow outside, so I had to come inside and finish up the rest of the jacket indoors, which was kind of the plan anyway, with that new kind of glue, because that new glue is non-toxic, doesn't smell, and it's safe to use indoors. The only thing about that is you have to put it on there while it's wet and then press it onto the jacket. And it has to be on both surfaces, so I ended up having to line up the letters perfectly with the glue and making sure that I didn't move it from the way it was so it doesn't look funny on my back. That was probably the most difficult part of this custom. <laughs> I unfortunately didn't have enough time to glue the front part of the jacket because it was snowing and I had to let the back part dry, but there's a little rose in my pocket that just kind of sits there so I can kind of adjust the height with it. I hope that sounds not in there. If it is, it's Cool story that happened while we were filming. So I'm filming the jacket. We're sitting here on the corner. Never been in this neighborhood before. It it looks dope. It looks beautiful. What was the neighborhood? It was like um Franklin Avenue. Franklin Avenue. Yeah. Chilling in Franklin Avenue and really really cool vibes. You know everyone's fashion sense there was on point. Looking really cool. But we're sitting on the corner filming um some of the jacket on me and. One of the guys, I don't think we have it on film. I wish we had it on film. But this car stops at the stoplight. This guy sticks his head out the window. There's two guys in the car and they're yelling out like, yo, hey, is that Gucci? I was like, nah, man, it's a, it's a Burberry. It's a Burberry jacket. It's like, oh, ooh, that's nice though. That's nice though. I was like, yeah, but the back is custom. Oh, for real? You got a card? <laughs> I was like, nah, and the, the light had just turned green. So he starts to like slowly drive away and there's like four cars behind him. So he's like slowly driving, like yelling at me, like trying to talk to me. He's like, yeah, okay, so uh, you, I'm like, no, I don't, I don't get a card. I, I got a YouTube channel though. He's like, okay, wait, what's your name on the channel? I'm like, Yarbro Creates. He goes, what? I go, Yarbro Creates. So he's driving all of a sudden, he's like, yo, what name of it again? I was like, Yarbro Creates. He's like, okay, cool, fresh. And just drives off. <laughs> Yo, shout out to that guy because he's awesome because uh, that that was such a cool moment that I could never recreate because I was like so so it was it was like in the moment like I never had that happen before on like New York like that kind of thing where like dudes sticking his head out like trying to like holla at my custom and it felt really cool because I made that I was like yo thank you appreciate it I'm glad you appreciate my hard work because sometimes I don't get a chance to like see someone's reaction to what we make here because obviously you're watching it through your phone. I'm not there watching it with you. I can't see your reaction. And so I missed out on that really cool moment. I do get a chance to read your comments down below and I get huge, like, uh, uh, I wanna say the word giggles, but I don't like the word giggles. So I, <laughs> like, uh, it, it's just really, really exciting to, to know that you guys like appreciate what we're creating here. Cause it, it takes a lot of work and it's a lot of fun doing it. And it's just cool to know that you guys think it's dope too. Hope you guys enjoyed this custom. I think this was the only custom that I would actually consider to be a, a true DIY. For the most part, you can pretty much do this yourself. Just don't use the toxic glue. Just don't <laughs> use the toxic glue. <laughs> yeah! Uh, but our video is actually not done yet because my aunt, who's also a YouTuber, uh, put out a little dance challenge out there and I was tagged in it. So I'm going to be doing a little dance for you guys today. Um, if you guys are into gardening, and really like to see how you kind of grow your own garden, go check out her channel over here. I'll definitely leave a link below.
Excuse you. <laughs> Michael Jackson. Rocket. Break it down now. <laughs> wow. Check a pose. That's all the dance that I have for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed this custom and that little dance video. Can't wait to see you guys next week for our next custom. If you liked this video, please hit like. To see more, hit subscribe and review our other videos down below. To never miss a video, hit the notification bell. And we'll see you next time on Yarbro Creates. We are super excited for this custom. This is part two of our jacket custom. I'm wearing the custom right now. So let's just go ahead and show you how I made it. <laughs> In a world. Why are my glasses so foggy?